Oh, whoa. Okay, this is kind of new. So hello everyone, this is Overexposed Gregor. How's it going today? How are we doing? <laughs> like, that was kind of weird. Kind of like blew up a little bit there. <laughs> uh, yeah, but this is Gregor. Welcome. How's it going? How are we doing today? Another week of retro with uh, 1992's uh, Flashback. Also known as Flashback, the quest for identity in the United States. And... Uh, Fun times, I guess. Although I am going to be playing the Switch version because that's the one that kind of like runs the most, you know, stable. <laughs> hey, Alalinor. Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? I haven't seen you for like a week or so. Hope everything is um, all okay over there. Uh, and Posh. Hi, hi, hi. My Posh, my number one uh, uh points gatherer i guess because like that's what twitch said uh in that like end of year email and stuff <laughs> so yeah um i have never actually played this but i did find it on sale on uh on like the switch store for like 90 something cents let's see come on oh there you go oh Yeah, I don't know. They're very weird. Also very loud. Hold on. Okay. And to get like the full experience, we're going to be playing it in 8-bit mode. Um, so yeah, this should be fine. So let me just like catch up with everyone. Just going to bed way too early last week. Oh, well, I mean, I, I hope like whatever was causing you to go to bed, um, kind of like went away also hey gold gibbon hi how are we doing my fellow hello hello <laughs> see i've actually gotten like the uh the hang of it now uh last scene playing deep rock galactic a game that i really need to get to as well at some point like i'm, I'm gonna probably like do a, a thing on discord later to see if anyone else is interested in joining in um but yeah, also a lot of Elite Dangerous and probably the only person I've seen play that makes me want to go play it as well. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah, Year of Retro, we are going to be doing this and Flashback. So as I was saying, it was like the Switch version. There's like noise and static as well. Nah, side panels, filter, anti-alias. We don't need anti-alias, we don't need Bloom. But we're just like going to go for as pure an experience as we can on the Switch. Because that's the only version of this that I managed to get running without emulating anything, so, you know. And as far as I know, it's like the default version. 1993 Classic. This is your basic old school experience. No tutorial, no rewind. I am going to, like, make a concession because I do know it's like a hard game and put on rewind mode, honestly. Uh... You can kind of like do it like this. Or should I do like the, the like the fully classic version? Just like get incredibly pissed off every time I die. Hmm. Go full classic. Yeah, I figured as much. So yeah, that's what we'll do. So keep in mind, this was like an SNES and Genesis game originally. Get passcodes to resume. Do I? Okay. So I, I did play like a little bit of this just to see if it was running properly. So yeah, I, I, I know the like the the very basics. The controls are not very good. I mean, with today's standards, they're like probably fine in 1993, especially especially since the the whole game is kind of built to run like on two buttons. You you basically have like the use. And the jump, I guess. Oh, and like the gun, I guess. But yeah, that's kind of like a an afterthought. Kind of Prince of Persia. Yeah. So it's like a lot of weird momentum and a lot of uh, button combinations if you want to be doing anything. So yeah, there's a lot of that. But imagine playing this bug in 1993. How, how, how cool it, it would have been. And kind of like getting this whole like sci-fi um, 
extravaganza, I guess. Hey, it's me! <laughs> yes, it is. Hi, Conrad. You must be wondering why you recorded this me how you recorded this message without remembering it. Also, I love the, like, the, the groovy music. It's like so cool. <laughs> Good question, but it would take too long to explain and time is short. And if you want to save your hide... Yes, this is why we have skippable dialogue in games. You must constant. You must contact your old friend Ian in New Washington. But yeah, the soundtrack is like very groovy. Um, I've actually just like heard like a couple of them. Uh, he'll explain it all there. Good luck and watch your back because it's my life you're playing with. Hey, JLC, hi. How are we doing today? How's it going? It's like a cross between adventure game and pitfall game. I mean, yeah, kind of. It's it's half platformer and half puzzle game, so that's not too like off the mark, I guess. And the problem is that there are a lot of different control types that I, I need to worry about. Um, there is like a tutorial, but you know, eh. And the problem is that if 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 since I've like kind of like started classic mode, if I at any point die, I have to redo the entire level. Can I shoot the guy? Do they keep spamming. I think I'm meant to be hitting like the the little thing on its head. Yep. And they explode. And I want to say that when... Oh, there's like another one down there. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, that's not a convenient thing. I'm going to try and like do it like this. Yep. Can roll then turn around. Well, I could do that, but that, that would mean I'm actually good at the game. So... <laughs> Probably not. Um... What I'm gonna end up going for. Maybe I can like do it from like here. There you go. I need to learn that move for later also. Yeah. Oh my god. It it actually cues all of your inputs as well, and that's so so weird. It's like a there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean, that, that wasn't like the best, but <laughs> it ended up working at the, in, in the end, right? <laughs> so let's see, we run like this. So the problem is, here, here's the, like the thing. If I want to go down from here, I can just like press down. I need to press action, then down, and then kind of like release all of that. And fun times. Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. That was awful. Uh, nope. Is it going to follow me? Yeah, okay. Wow. I'm starting to think this wasn't a good idea. That, that, that rewind sounds awfully convenient now. Hey, we got a cartridge. So yeah, there's like items to be collected as well. So how's everyone doing today? How's, it, how's, um, how's your weekend been? Overall. What? That was kind of shitty. <laughs> All good action heroes, Rollins. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. I can't actually shoot that thing from here, so. Guess we're going like this way. Mm -hmm. 
Car broke down. Oof. That sucks. I'm like, sorry to hear that. Okay, so I remember from when I tested the game that those green things on the ground are kind of bad news. So I have to do this. And then do this. Energy generator. Oh, I guess maybe we can like charge something. Okay, so that's the shield. And I guess the cartridge as well. Oh, wait, there's like another one over here. Okay, so... It's gonna come... Yeah. Mm, okay. So, I guess the puzzle here is to do this. Aha. Generations lost. Generations lost. I do not remember that. I had a Genesis as well because, well, getting... Getting like the, the NES or the SNES around here was like very, very hard. Help! Help! <laughs> Wait, oh, is that guy down there? Okay. Hi. Help me, young man. I've been attacked by mutants and I can't walk. Find my teleporter. I need urgent medical assistance. Okay. I guess it's like something around here. I, I remember Phantom 2040. That was a very interesting game, but I've never actually heard of Generation Lost. So I was kind of, you know, curious. Yep. Yep. Down we go. And down we go. You know, I I've played the most on my uh, Genesis was... Well, probably Columns was what I played the most on my Genesis. Because, you know, that, that game is, like, very, very good. <laughs> okay. Okay. like another one of those if I can go up here oh wait I know where this takes me this is like below the like the starting area hmm so okay oh 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 wait it went up why did it go up and I cannot get up to it I guess this is like a second one that goes down, and there's like a save there. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, this game had saves? That's uh, interesting, I guess. But I, I, I guess there's something up there that I need to get to. No? Hmm. No. Wait. Did I... Stone. Okay, can I pick it back up? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like throwing ro rocks randomly. It's like a good way to vent your frust frust blah, 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 frustrations. But yeah, um, like the Genesis thing, what I... Oh, it's like a thing on there. Wait. Can I... No, hold on. Will that be enough to keep it... Ah, okay. So... Teleporter! Hey! We got the thing that the, the guy wanted, so... Yay. 
And I guess we need to remove the rock now to go further down. Okay. Um, but yeah, other than columns like that, the thing that I probably played the most on the Genesis was... Um... Oh god, I forget the name. It, it's like so annoying. Um... <laughs> save. Save. <laughs> I was like, make sure you save. I, I don't have like stuff like save states anymore, so... You know, can't rely on those on the Switch version. Wait, before we do anything, I should probably go back and give that guy his teleporter, right? Mm. But yeah, it was like a, a, a game, like in, in like the, the Looney Tunes universe. I don't remember, it's like, like Roadrunner and stuff like that, but... I also came too far back. I need to go down. Yep. Okay. Um... There's like a... Oof. That sucks. No, I don't want to quit. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did the game think I want to quit there? Because <laughs> I very clearly didn't. It's like dying you. You're not good enough to play this game anymore. Go away. <laughs> <coughs> mm, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it was like a Roadrunner kind of thing, Wily Coyote. You, you got to choose who to play as, and depending on the character that you chose, you either got like a like a more speed-oriented gameplay or like a more kind of like platforming and trap type of gameplay. I'm also very sad to say that I played like one of the Bubsy games on the Genesis and I, I may never recover from the scar of that. <laughs> um, there was... Oh, wow. There's like a lot of games that I actually played on there. Um, Shining Force, I want to say, was one that I spent a lot of time on. Uh, which was kind of like a... Uh, what's it called? Like a Fire Emblem type of thing, I guess. Help me, young man. Yeah, oh, yeah. I need to give you the teleporter. There we go. Aha! You have been saved. Thanks, you just saved my life. Wait, ID card? Hmm. Interesting. Fantasy Star. Yeah, I... I we... <sighs> Unfortunately, Cyprus was never a big market for RPGs, generally. Um... So, if, for example, you want to talk to me about all the, like, sports games on the um, Genesis, I probably wouldn't know because I don't like them. But if I were to like them, I would totally know all about the sports games on the uh, Genesis. Yep. Okay. Go this way. Um... But yeah, I think, I think, like, the most of any single game that I've played was probably Columns. Columns 3 or something like that. It was like a... A weirdish twist on... Um, what's it called? Like Tetris, I guess? Shining Force. Yes, that's... that's... <gasps> no! I wasn't paying attention. Why wasn't I paying attention? <sighs> now I have to go do it all the way again. I want to say I want to say it was like Shining Force Two, but I, I I don't remember if that's the one that's on the Genesis, or you know locally the Mega Drive. That's that, that's what it was called around here. <laughs> um, oh, or like Mega Drive Two. I want to say I. Hmm. I think I went too far. There we go. Let's see this way. Up we go. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it like that exactly, but I mean, it's more fun like that way, right? 
Let's see, let's go give the guy his. Yeah, yeah, help, help. I've got your teleporter right here. He just saved my life. Yay. Hopefully we don't randomly die to one of those green floor thingies. But yes, Shining Force was actually a lot of fun. And that was like a long time before I even knew what the Fire Emblem game was like. Because the first Fire Emblem that I played was... Um, gee, what was it? I think it might have been Awakening on the on on the D, on the three DS or like DS. I don't remember which one was it. Uh, but th that's like the first one I played, mainly because around here you couldn't really get any of the other ones before that. And well, the three DS was the, the the first like Nintendo handheld that had like a very robust, well, robust. Like a very dysfunctional, but at least you could use it without region restrictions. Uh, eShop. <laughs> mm. <gasps> Wait. I did it again. I did it again at the exact same tile. Although I kind of note that if you kind of like try and run over it, it doesn't trigger automatically for whatever reason. Region restriction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think that was the reason, but there is there's like a also hi rooks. Um, there is like a there is an anecdote that I like to kind of like um, say kind of like from personal experience. Um, back when Xbox 360 first came out, and for a couple of years there, thereafter, Cyprus did not have Xbox Live uh, available. We could either connect to the one they had for Greece. Or we could stay, like, off the grid, I guess. And the thing was, when they eventually implemented the um, Xbox Live thing here, it was so badly implemented that for maybe, like, six months, what you could buy was just uh, Hitman 2... And like maybe three or four of the DLCs for Dead Rising. Um, and that was it. It was like literally the entire storefront had like five items you could buy. Um, I want to say three of them were the like, uh, you know, XBLA avatars, I guess. Like you, you could buy like different profile pictures and uh, like the, the, the little like 3D dude or... Um, character that is supposed to represent you i guess <laughs> um but yeah other than that you, you like I, I i distinctly remember i could only buy hitman 2 if i wanted to and that was it okay let's uh let's not screw things you know that thing's uh hitbox is like slightly bigger than it needs to be damn it like I'm, I'm standing here, and on this side it's safe, but if I stand here, I'm dead. Yeah. It's like a good uh, thingy. God, I, I'm so annoyed now. I blame Gold Gibbon for telling me to start this on, uh, on 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 the retro difficulty. Never mind that I kind of like started it before he had typed. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> some someone has to get the blame, and it not it's not gonna be me. <laughs> uh, I hate myself. I mean, <laughs> nah, I don't hate myself. Hmm. I hate not going for the, well, the modern conveniences, but I, I guess, I mean, I, I, I guess Gibbon's right. Like, it, this is like the year of retro, but, you know, the blame is mine. You put on whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, that kind of, yeah, that kind of tracks, I guess. 
I'm like literally speedrunning this now. <laughs> oh, such precision. No, no, ah. <laughs> I was on one of those things. Why why did it take that long to activate? I was almost sure I was going to die again. Again. Okay, let's take it very... Slowly here. Let's go like this. Ha. Huh. And drop down. And go... Nope. Hold on. Go save. Okay, that's fine. I guess that, I, I guess that down there is where we need to put the, card, the, the key card. So let me... Yeah, okay. Wait, no. Credits? No. This. Aha! Come on. Ah! Uh, dude, dude, take your gun out! I cannot do that move at all. I just like fell to my death. <laughs> no one saw that. So what do you have to press in order to get like roll and get your gun out at the same time? I wonder if there's like a, a menu thing that I can... Oh, there's tutorials, hold on. Um, jump down with weapon. Draw weapon, move. Okay. Roll with weapon. Drop an item, shoot low. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Phrase word in Portuguese. I, I mean, yeah. I guess. Okay, lesson learned. We 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 are never going to drop down a a thing anymore. Oh, so I think these guys are going to, like, no. Oh, wait, did they just kill one another? Yeah, they did. Okay. Can I? Yeah, doesn't seem like I can break that. Also, with my, like, this green stuff is going to be poisonous or something. No? Okay. Stopped? <laughs> sure. To get to New Washington, you have to jump into this hole. But if I were you, I'd use an anti-G belt. Where can I find one? Now I can sell you one. 500 credits. Oh, okay. I have exactly zero. <laughs> hmm. But maybe I can make it across. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is... Dead end. Okay. Um, I mean, there's like a, a charging thing up there, so that nothing... That like, not, not all is lost. And I 
guess I did take a hit from the uh, the first like gun dude, I guess. I don't know what would you call that guy. <laughs> There's like a lot of platforms that are kind of like useless here and I'm, I'm kind of wondering why. I mean, it's, it's not like they, they need it for like the, re the, the, the realistic feel because, you know, all of the platforms are kind of that don't really fit in this place. Hey, Venom and Luktra, hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? This feels very Prince of Persia. I mean, yeah, it's... I, I want to say it's not—it's not like from like the same guy, but also the the A body style is because this game is ninety three to ninety seven. It's like four years before uh, Abe's Odyssey. <laughs> so basically, Abe's Odyssey is kind of like flashback. <laughs> if if you take it that way, lock. Wait, no, can't actually do that. Follow cube, stone, yeah. Unless like bashing the the thing open is uh, like a solution, which is probably not. Do they have the same creator? No, this was from. Oh god, what was his name? Ah, I'm just like gonna look it up now. Hold on. Got like a. To Wikipedia, it's from Delphine Software, but it was made by a guy called. Um, what was it? It's like around here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not it's not by the same person or the same company. But if I'm being honest, it, it was well received enough and kind of it was one of the first games that tried to be, you know, cinematic in 92. Because it's like cutscenes and stuff. <laughs> and also you can't do this. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this is like a charging station. We don't need that. Should I go save or something now that I've killed everyone? I, that might be a good idea, right? You know, so I don't have to redo the whole thing. Um, but it was like one of the first games that were kind of like, you know, cinematic. And uh, for its time, it was kind of, you know, unique. I mean, all of, all of, what, you, all, all of what you're watching here was running on like an SNES and uh, like Genesis. So... It's like pretty good. It, it's, it's even got like, you know, color backgrounds with kind of like some cohesion and stuff. It was also involved in Shaq Fu? Really? Wow, that's like a... That's like a wildly varying uh, degree of like quality there. <laughs> Shaq Fu. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, shit. No. Wait, is it gonna... No! Why am I the only one that gets obliterated when I when I go through there? <laughs> That's unfair. <laughs> Ooh, also, yeah. Hold on. There's a stone here. I wonder if you can do this. Oh, yeah, you totally can. Haha! -ha. And we get like a hundred credits for our for our trouble. I guess I need like four hundred more to get the anti-grav thing. Also, okay, the the green thing doesn't kill us, I guess. That's like nice. Oh, it's like two turrets. <laughs> I, I don't I don't like this. Are they going to activate? Key. That's not a key, but sure. It was a remake of this in 2013. Yeah, I, I know. Um, I'm currently running this on a on a Switch, but this is not the remake. This is kind of like a, um, a remastered edition of the original. In 2013, they made another one that was like uh, probably 3D and stuff. Shit. There's like 50 credits here. Right? Did, did anyone see that? It was like a, for a moment I could pick up 50 credits. 
Okay, sure. And it's like a one uh, one step closer to you know the, whatever it is I'm trying to do with the 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 anti grav boots. So so I, I think it's like a another credit up there. Also, also since this is kind of like a four by three thing, I think I may just like bring it to here. So we don't actually get, you know, the, the web come to cover the the thing. Someone said if you can access credits, you can beat the game. <laughs> I mean, I, I still have, like, credits, you know? Like, there we go. 500. Okay. So what's the point of getting the other 150? Is there some some way that i can get 500 without picking that one up because i haven't seen any else any like any more of those at least now we're shielded uh oh god Oof. Ugh. wow <laughs> about to speed run every game that has a credit option. I mean, yeah. Mm. That's like a very broad definition of uh, what like a speed run is, but sure. Why not? Okay, let's go. Um, let's go refill this. Nope. It's actually so hard to tell <laughs> which platforms are the the ones you can get onto. Oh, 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 and we got the key, which means I get to unlock the door that was behind the robot when we first dropped down. Maybe. Like this one. Let's see, key. Yes, we do. Cool. I am going to save. <laughs> go back, go back. <laughs> save. Now, now we should be good to die another... 20 or 30 odd times. <laughs> I forgot to keep the action button pressed, so he didn't grab the ledge. <laughs> so I fell to my death. See? I would have been very embarrassed if I if I hadn't saved the game when I did. Or, I mean, we could have done it like this. Oof. No. <laughs> that was like the... That was like the like an emotional roller coaster there. <laughs> hey, give me the that thing. Bon voyage, young man. Oh, and now we get an arrow. So I guess am I done with the level or something? Down we go. <laughs> also, isn't this like the most like 80s to 90s thing you've ever seen? Like music included and all of that. <laughs> okay, what's down here? Oh, it's like a charging station. Do I need it? No, I've got like four shields. That I I think four is probably the um, the highest it can go. So. Probably don't need to charge it. Hmm. Look, look. No. Whoa. They don't really follow you, do they? Okay, let's try it like this.
Okay. So, who's this guy? Ian. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Thanks, Conrad. These cubs would have had my hide. Well, I suppose you don't remember your old pal Ian. Take a shit. Take a seat. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's like gonna be the, like, the worst m mispronunciation ever. Take a seat. We'll fix that shortly. Okay. Here. Slowly, the rays from the regenerators reimplant the memories in Conrad's brain. Hey, Menino Mundi. Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? The end of your thesis. I like, I like the music. I just like started this now. I'm, I'm doing well as well. Glasses which measure molecular density. Oh wait, is it gonna be like a, like a they, they, they are among us kind of thing? Individuals whose molecular density is a thousand times the norm. Yeah, it's gonna be like aliens. Oh, what? Aliens mixed in with the population. <laughs> okay. My investigations have attracted their attention. Someone tried to kill me. I'm no longer safe. I guess. I'm recording the hol the hologram. Okay. Then I save the contents of my memory and send it to Ian. Okay. So yeah, this is like a uh, super sci-fi. Like roll with it. You you can like download memories and whatnot. Oh, so it's kind of, oh, you can't actually see it because it's not like in widescreen. I'm sorry about that. Somehow the, the cutscenes are like more wide than the actual game itself. So I'm just like gonna go back to the regular thing and maybe like go a bit, a bit lower as well. The kidnapping. I have erased his memory. <laughs> Fog. Um, a minute's rest. <laughs> Evasion. <laughs> Okay, is that it? So now what? Ian, what do you have to do? What do you have to do to get to Earth? The cost of the ticket is astronomical. The only way would be for you oh the only way would be for you to take part in Death Tower. Death Tower? Yeah, it's a television game. The winner gets a ticket. Okay. Can you supply false papers? No problem. Go to the bar and ask for Jack. Say I sent you. Oh, by the way, I put the force field you asked me in your pocket. Wait, what? <laughs> Um, okay. Force field. Okay, what's what's this? Ooh, okay. Shiny. It's like a very... It's like a very small duration. The fuse is blown. Of course it is. It's like... Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, like a random fuse down here, because why not? There's like something in this side. No. Nope. So I guess we need to take a running jump here. And okay. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, should I go back and like recharge my shield or something it should work now oh yeah sorry click hmm oh okay it's safe is it who's this guy I mean, he, he doesn't look... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going after him. Let's just like, like all be friends from far, far away. Welcome to, New Welcome to New Washington, young man. Here's a map of the city, which you may find useful. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nope. No, it, it, it. Wait, what? Titan Subway. Um... Asia, Spaceport, Restricted Area 1, Bar, America, Africa, Travel Agency, City Hall, Restricted Area 2, Europa, Death Tower. I, I guess that's where we need to head. Okay, we can go this way. Have a nice day. 
Oh, we can go this way. So what's the like? I, I, I want to see what's like on the other side first. Wait, Titan Travel. That means we're in Sector Africa. I think at least like, like sectors. Kind of looks like a, like, I don't know, transport system or something. So I guess we are in, well, Africa, I guess. Down we go. Yeah. Oh, Asia. Okay. Wait, but the, the travel agency is in like the, the Africa sector. Oh, spaceport. Okay. I guess that's why it says travel. So I assume like the, the, the tram that's in front of us will take us to America f then first, uh, Africa second and Europa third. So, oh, it's like a map here as well. You are here. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I mean, it says on the wall as well, but you know, sure. Thanks for making sure that I, I picked up on it. So what I just like wait until we get to America. Yeah, you know, it, it just like goes automatically. Okay. Um, there we go. What do I press? Oh, hi. All this. So I guess it's what like a city or something that we're in. Oh, never mind. It's already here. <laughs> it's like like the, the the train drivers like bloody tourists. <laughs> well, I, I keep mashing the button for the elevator to come, and the elevator is already here. Okay, day death tower show. Okay, um, can go this way. How about this side? What here? Photo. Change machine. Okay, I don't have any change, I guess. But this guy, man. Good morning. Okay, that's it. Oh, I guess these are like NPCs or something. And this is a work agency. You must have a permit in order to work. You can get one at the admin center. So that was... City Hall, I guess. Oh, come on. Now we have to do another three... Uh, another three rotations of this. Yay. Is, is, is like the objective of this game to bore me with bureaucracy or something? Because <laughs> I don't know how much I want that in like a game. I, 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 I mean, I've played Papers, Please, but that, that wasn't like particularly the reason why I wanted to play Papers, Please. So we need to be in Africa sector. Come on. There you go. So up this way. Hmm. And up that way. I guess the restricted area is locked. And like that side is locked as well. So. Oh, hi. Good morning. Okay, so I there's like no reason to be talking with these guys anyway. Well then, have you brought me the parcel? Wait, what parcel? I don't travel. Am I not in the right place? Like the, the door's closed here, right? I guess here we can't actually enter. So, which one of the regions or like sectors or whatever haven't I explored yet? I guess Asia. No, Asia was like the, the first one. America, I guess. Oh, wait, we were supposed to be going to the bar, not to the death tower. Conrad says he needs like fake papers and stuff. So okay, let's go to the bar. Wait, no, this is not, not the right one. Ah, <laughs> I get so easily lost. I shut up. <laughs> God. Okay. 
Okay, this one's not here. So I guess this time I get to call down the elevator without looking like an idiot. And this one, I guess, gets triggered by that thing on the ground instead of a switch. Okay, so it's like this guy. No, it's like this guy. I'd like to speak to Jack. Oh, yeah? Jack's not here. I've been sent by my friend Ian. Why are half the dialogues in, like, different colors? Okay, Jack's waiting for you outside. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, thanks. Huh? Lock. Oh, is, is is this like a a thing on the ground? Yeah, I can't actually drop down through it, so I guess it is. Hmm. So this guy's Jack, I guess. I'm Jack. You're after some false papers. Yes, and as quickly as possible. 1,500 credit? Wait, what? 1,500? Yeah, I'm taking a big risk here, dude, but I don't have enough. Go to the employment office. You'll find work there. And come back to me when you've got the money. Oh, so I, I've already been to the employee office, right? The, um, I guess like the, the work office, job center. So maybe it will just like let me go to the town hall now and get the, the papers that I need. Hopefully. Without a lot of stupid hustle. <laughs> Jeez. And like this level is just like maybe 10 or 12 screens overall, but it, it, it makes you go through all of the <laughs> like multiple times. Europa. Oh, wait, was it like Europa? I forget. Oh no, it was Africa. And I, mm, I, I didn't get off. That sucks. Let's have some coffee while we wait. Mm hmm. Choo choo. Down we go. And up. So I guess now the door somehow is going to be open, of course. <laughs> How, how does it know? How does it care? How? I'd like a work permit. First floor. Okay. But this guy. I don't have time. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of... It's kind of like a parody. I'd like a work permit. No, it's not here. See Windows C. I'd like a work permit. Oh, it's not here. See Windows B. I'd like a work permit. Good. Okay. The boss will see you now. <laughs> really? I'd like a work permit. There's no problem getting a permit. I need your ID card. I guess. Yay! I can work now. Haven't seen a save point yet, though, and that's kind of, you know, worrying. So, wait, the... The job center is in Europe, as like the, the next one over. So let's go down. And hopefully this time remember to get off at Europa. <laughs> you know, not, not mess not to mess things around. <laughs> Wait, but Oh, I thought I thought it was like something I could pick up here, but just give me a moment, please.
Hello, I'm sorry about that. I'm so very sorry for having very, very idiotic colleagues. So yeah, someone actually went in to work to on, on like a Saturday and didn't know the password to get out. So I'm like kind of like still waiting for a phone call to see if everything is resolved because I'm actually not first in line for that. But I might have to call the stream and drive all the way to there. I don't know yet, but in the meantime, I'm going to try and, you know, actually like have sound. I was like going to try to get as much of the game as possible done. So we needed to go to the business oop, work agency. Hmm. Wait, why don't I have sound? Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. So, okay, sorry for the disruption, I guess. You must have a permit in order to work. Yes, we do have that one. Why can't I show it to him automatically? I don't I, I don't I don't get. Oh wait. Wait. Oh, do I just have to mission screen? Yeah, okay, so I just like have to use the permit on this. But first, we just like go save. <laughs> just in case. Because, you know, uh, that's like one of those games, like if it had a quick save button, you should totally do like a quick save button. File 4324XB35, user, Titan Space Lines. Okay. Yes. Object. Receipt of parcel at Spaceport, Station I Asia, and transporting it to Titan Travel Agency, Station Africa. Yep, there we go. Sorry about that. Give me just like, again, one more moment. Hey, Manaway, thank you for the raid, and sorry for having to go BRB so, like, immediately. I'm gonna be right back.
Hello again, and sorry for that. I'm it, ah, I just like hate when, when this happens. Um, we had someone come from out of town to work on a Saturday, and the alarms went off at work. So that was kind of like what I was trying to resolve. So hi, Imana. How are we doing today? How's it going? How was um? Oh my God, I I, I, I know what you were streaming, but I can't remember at the moment. <laughs> That was like a, mm, a thing. Damn it. You were streaming uh, something or another. <laughs> I'm like horrible at this. Yeah, Tales of Magiel. That's right. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was trying to, to remember. Like It's like a roguelike, but I, I don't remember which one. How are we doing today? How's it going? Welcome to anyone that's actually stayed <laughs> after watching me go for like a... Oh... 15 minutes. Wow, that's a, like a lot. Unlock the Archmage, nice. I've only actually ever played like that, that game twice. I did like a oof, Dwarf Berserker or something like that. Or like a Warrior, I guess. And then died a bunch of times. <laughs> so that was actually it. <laughs> yeah, I hope, ho hope your uh, Saturday is going better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, like um, a small background there. Um, we had. I, I'm I'm usually on call uh, for my workplace, so we need to get like a package from the spaceport in Asia and take it to the travel agency in Sector Africa, right? Right. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm like on call for the alarms at my workplace and someone actually tried to go in on a Saturday after hours to, you know, to work. And they triggered the alarm and what you watched because I accidentally put up the BRB screen, sorry, the, the, the webcam screen instead of the BRB screen was me trying to like, you know, coordinate with like the, uh, the, 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 the security persons to kind of like reset the password so I don't have to drive over that place. <sighs> I'm like very annoyed. Yeah, it's like very unfortunate timing. It's also like even more unfortunate that apparently this person came out of town to do that at five when when she should know that the alarm arms at five. So, you know, why? Also, yeah, uh, Mana was playing Tome. Wait, not, not America, Africa, damn it. Get back here. Next. <laughs> Why? I do not know. So, yeah, Doombringer. I have no idea what that, uh, what that class is like. I've, I've, I've not actually unlocked any of the classes, so... <laughs> that sounds like something that you need to play a lot to unlock. Nope, nope, shit. No. Oh no. Okay, he did. Is that it? There's like no one else. Okay. And we have to deliver the package to this guy. There you go. It's kind of a demon knight. <laughs> that sounds like fun. But we only got like a hundred credits. I need like 1500 so I guess that means we have to go back to the the job center to get more. I hope they don't all pay this well because that's probably going to be a, 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 a long time before I um, like wor work up to the 1500 that we need. So yeah, uh, for those of you that may have just joined... This is flashback, and we're also doing a year of retro thing. I'm Gregor. I'm, just, I'm like saying all of this in the wrong order, but who cares? <laughs> so we're doing old games once per week on the weekends. Um, this is the second week that I'm doing it, and it's flashback. I'm actually playing on the Switch, but this is like the like the the original version, like the original mode, I guess. Um, and you can blame Gold Gibbon for that. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like going. I'm, I'm going for like the the blame goalkeeper narrative there, like all the way. <laughs> um, so retro mode is the vanilla game, but I think it has like save points added or something because I don't think those were present in like the original. Um, this is chapter two out of I want to say five if memory serves. And we are kind of stuck trying to raise 1500 credits in order to get forgeries made of some like ID documents so we can join what's called death uh, death race or something. <laughs> death, death tower, I want to say. Escort the VIP to the research center. The VIP will wait for you at the entry to restricted area 2. You'll need to be armed. 300, okay. I mean, 300 isn't that bad, right? That takes us up to 400, so it's like a nearly a third of the way done. I'm just like gonna save. So where was uh, where was like restricted area two? Oh, Africa. Okay. So let me just like also have my force field equipped. Because I assume this is going to be like one of those combat scenarios, which means if we die, then I'm kind of screwed. Uh, because I have to do all of this all over again. Just like walk from the work uh, center to you, the terminal, then wait until we get around to like the Africa station. And had fun learning how it works. I mean, let's like have like half the fun in, in, in roguelikes, right? Kind of like figuring out how everything is supposed to work there you go Doop. up we go no nope. up we go okay restricted area too so that, that, this door is now open so it's like lead on young man take me to the research center okay is he gonna like come down here or something oh no never mind because there's like a there's like an elevator here okay 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 let's see enemies no okay not yet at least <laughs> i mean i'm pretty sure there's gonna be enemies if if, if the description says that uh you need to bring like a, a gun. Okay, there's like a mine. I think it's a mine at least. So do I just like jump over it? I guess. Okay. And now I have to escort the guy. Wait, where did he go? jerk come on follow me he, he never runs like it's like the worst part of like an escort mission the, the guy's like deliberately slow he doesn't kind of like react normally level 18 oh that's nice oh yep there we go there we go it's like a aha combat Okay, we killed him. Get the key. And more importantly, we didn't get hit. As like the the, the 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 very the most basic thing here is that we didn't get hit by anything yet. Okay, open one of the doors. Is he gonna walk in? Yeah, but he doesn't trigger the the thingy. So let's see. Okay, shoot the other one. So I guess we have to go back and...
Oh my god. This is like the the worst getting another match. Wow. <sighs> yeah. It's kind of weird that the the game doesn't have like a lot of uh, music going, or like a, a lot of sound effects either. If I'm being honest, you can just like barely hear them. Maybe I should, you know, uh, do the the thing and just like increase the SFX at least. Oh, wait, no? Where where do I have to activate the second door from then? Hmm. So, I guess it might be the that switch on the bottom left, right? But that's already locked. There's like an elevator there though, so maybe I have to like, like take the long way around. Oh boy. Oh boy and oh joy. What what are those? No, why are you meleeing, idiot? like stun log it <laughs> don't care if it's dead it, it it's it was a good fight come on so if you can get the timing right i think you can kind of like stun lock them like this and blow them up and I guess what we needed to pick up was this. Okay. Does that mean the door will be... Of course, the door is now open. <laughs> um, key... Wait, where's the VIP? Oh. <laughs> I mean, just like freaked out there for a moment like maybe the vip went back all the way to the start somehow but i guess not are we done this is like a dead end are we done lead on take me to the research center i mean there's like nowhere else to go oh thank you for your help i arrived safely and there's no longer any danger yay mission complete it was like too bad i guess uh, aside from the, the 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 weird floaty orb thingies, wait, what? <gasps> oh, <laughs> and you actually get teleported back to the to the job center. I mean, why wouldn't the the, the previous job do that as well? That would have been nice. Okay, so let's like check this one. Third job, user Titan TV, a model Cy Borg <laughs> two point one duplicator has escaped. We believe, we believe it may have had outside assistance. Your mission is to find it and eliminate it before the virus controlling its biobrain can multiply. You will be supplied with a photograph of the individual. Be careful, this machine is dangerous. And 400 credits. Really? Still like not enough? I'm, how many of these jobs am I gonna have to do? So they get like a photograph? Photo of Cybo21. Okay, maybe just like show it to people. How about like this guy? How about this guy? Ah, hello. I've seen that guy before in the bar. Oh, wait, the bar was in America. I, I don't need the map. Oh, what? Did you just like fall to my death almost again? Mm. Jeez.
No, wait. It's like this one. Haha. Mm. I should probably look at doing like a roguelike of my own on stream at some point. Well, at some point. <laughs> Although probably not uh, Tome. Like if I if I were to do something, it might be. Ooh, I'd love to do Dreadmore because there's like a lot of stuff that I still haven't done in that one, but it's also kind of glitched in some places, and I don't really want to do that. Mm hmm. I'm pretty sure I have like a few stone shard. Uh, I don't think I own that. If I'm being honest, it's like the bar. Wait, not here. Had a lot of updates lately. Okay, hold on. I know that guy. He has a friend in the police. Where can I find this friend? Go to restricted area one. I think he's on duty there. Be careful. Those guys are mean. Oh, at least like it's like not you know, like a different sector. That's something. So restricted area one is like down from here, or like on like then the next one over. Oh, okay. He. He doesn't aggro, I guess. Saibo21 wants to make a deal with you. He'll be waiting behind the bar. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is like the fetch quest from hell. <laughs> you have to go between like two areas over and over and over again. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a... Wow, that was cheap. Don't shoot, I'm not Cybo21. His hideout's down below. His pal the cop has the key. <sighs> Jesus Christ, just a moment again. Okay, that was like slightly shorter, so <laughs> yay, I guess. So the person that, uh, it's like a, like a nice little like side story here while we're playing the game. The person that tried to go and work from uh, like on like today <sighs> triggered the other alarm when she was exiting the building. And I'm like, seriously? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you like kidding me? <laughs> so yeah. That was fun. Also, yeah, back and forth quests are the worst. I, I I hate this part of the game, if I'm being honest. We literally went back and forth through the, the, the same, like, three or four screens. Wait, what? Uh, four times, and now I'm gonna have to go back again? <laughs> Which is... Mm, not, 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 like, the, the best design. But then again, there's, like, a 92 game, or 93, I guess. So maybe that's, you know, why? <laughs> um, maybe they, they couldn't figure out any other way to... Also, it, it, I, I don't usually like to use this as like an excuse or anything, but if you really think about it... Also, we have like three shields. If you really think about it, this came out on like the Genesis and the SNES originally, and those kind of had a... 
a very small capacity overall. So to me, at least, it kind of makes sense that they, they would want to have a few areas and reuse them like they do. Because, um, you know, that kind of like saves on, uh, uh, you know, cartridge capacity, I guess, in this case. What the, what the hell is this? <gasps> what? No, don't. Oh, nice. Wait, are they like teleporting or something? Yeah, they're teleporting. What the? Maybe if I stand here, they can just like, like hit them on, on the.